So there was, there was one point, right? It was, uh, we knew each other for a while. We were talking for a little bit and um, we were all playing Saturday night basketball after the press, whatnot. She was messing around and somehow through an accident, she fell or whatever and landed on her face and had a seizure. And I happened to see her while she was having the seizure. And I thought she broke her neck and like got paralyzed. And in my brain, and I was like, man, now like I'm gonna have to get like a handicap van. I'm gonna have a wheelchair. Like, can we still have kids? And in my brain, I was thinking this and I didn't even realize it. And I was like, I was like, would I actually still marry her even if she paralyzed herself? And then it was, yeah, like I would, I would still marry her. And that's when I was like, wow, I'm actually like really, I actually really like her. Like I want to do something, you know, I want to go further with this. And I think that was the stepping point for me. So now the joke is the, the day she fell, I fell for her. Just that little play on words right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, he told me a month later after I fell. Uh, oh, at an FCA game? Yeah, I was at a yeah, soccer we game. A soccer I actually game. started playing volleyball for the school and he was playing soccer. Um, mm -hmm. And he was like, hey, I just wanted to tell, like, I needed to talk to you about something. And I was like, what do you not talk to me about? And, um, because I liked him, I did, but I didn't ever think he would like me. So I was just like, eh, it's whatever. It just won't work out. Um, but then he was like, hey, like, I really like you. I just wanted to let you know. And I don't know if you feel the same way about me. And I was like, I do. I, <laughs> I, like, I like you too. <laughs> but I was so nervous. I don't know why. So then he told me that. And then, um, and then we told our parents. Then we told our parents. And we went to a tournament. It was like a four day long tournament um, at Lake Waccamaw. Like, we were talking, like, he's like, would you say something about like caring for you or something like that? Like, like so, I don't know, he said something and I was like, like, yeah, of course I would care for you. Like, I care for people I love. And like, and I was like talking, he's like, wait, you love me? And I was like, I mean, yeah, like I do. Like, you know, and so that was the first time I said, I love you. Just if you wanted to know that. <laughs> and he actually said it back, so hey. <laughs> Worked out. Yeah. And, there, and when we were talking, at first we were like, it was before a game, we were inside, but then we had to finish the talk and it was at nighttime. Um, we went outside on the front porch and like the sun was setting and it was really pretty. <laughs> Can we tell them? <laughs> <laughs> the first time we met, like I was visiting from New York because we were planning on moving here, but my dad had to like go through a job interview first. So we came down and it was during a press and um, and I like knew of him because at the time I was friends with his best friend. And um, so I, I knew of him and like, he's like, yeah, my best friend, Miggy. And I was like, what kind of name is that? Like, I thought that was his like first name. Like Shoot, his name was, yeah. And so like when I met him, I was like, hey, so like, why do they call you Miggy? And he was just like sitting there, he was just like, and I was like, okay, and that was our first interaction. Yeah. That was well, the first was ever. First I asked him why they called him yeah. Miggy. Yeah. She's actually really rude. And now I know. He didn't tell me then, but now I know. <laughs> so my brother so, yeah. played soccer and he played soccer for this school and I didn't play any sports for this school, but the principal of the school who's also their coach, he asked me if I wanted to be in one of the plays that they do. It's like a dinner theater and because he was wanting me to be the princess in the play. And he's like, I think you just fit the character great. And I was like, okay, yeah, but I didn't know anybody there. And so like he would play sports there. And he was also asked to be in the play. And I said, no, I hate plays. Like, I hate I hate being in front of people like that. <laughs> and I said, no, straight up. But I found out he was asked and I was like, please, like, I don't know anybody there. Like, I just need somebody I know, somebody from our church. Cause like, you know, it was different. And uh, it's like, please let me be in the play. I mean, play, 
I was like, please, can you be in the play? And then uh, we met like every day for like two and a half hours. And so that's where we started like, talking. Practice was like two months long, right? Yeah. Like, it's... yeah. But it was good. We, we, we met and we started talking in that play. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, it's pretty cool. He, he actually, he would actually ask me questions about this girl he liked. He would ask me for advice. So I'd give him advice, you know? And this was a constant conversation we had. <laughs> Cause I guess he doesn't know, he didn't, he didn't know girls too well. So he would ask me advice a lot and I would give him advice. And um, but yeah, we would just basically talk when we weren't performing or practicing for the play. First thing that, that I really like liked about her was that she like was super like, she always stuck up for her friends and she never did what was popular. She never did the, like, the popular thing if it was wrong. You know, she never followed the crowd. She didn't do that. And she didn't like drama. She didn't like, not, not acting drama, drama, like drama, drama. And she, <laughs> I didn't like plays, you know, she, and she had good values. You know, I want someone that can, you know, look after my kids if I'm not there, you can raise my kids in church, you know, can, be a good mother type thing and that's what I really in essence that's just what I wanted and uh, everything else worked out she's obviously pretty and uh, hard worker and so I was like hey nothing can't go wrong with that so <laughs> put a ring on that one <laughs> <laughs> wow at first okay so we actually were in a rap group together for a little while before the play I'm pretty sure that was before the play but he was just super immature and like so annoying and I was just like you need to grow up like I would tell him like you need to grow up and I was so because I was honest and I was like all right I was like just started watching him more and like he played with there is this one there's a kid in church he likes to um you know be around and she loves him so I would see that I was like oh, oh that's cute you know so like he liked kids and um he well, he had a job, so that was a plus. And at the time, all the guys in our age group, they didn't have jobs. Like, he was like one of the very few that had a job. So I was like, oh, he's a hard worker. You know, he's responsible. Cause obviously, he has a job. And it was landscaping. He has his own landscaping business. So um, that was, I was like, wow, that's actually really, really cool, you know. He was very respectful with adults. And um, he never hung out with like all the cool people, you know, whatever. He just kind of did his own thing in church, honestly. Just did his own thing and served God. And he wasn't following the crowd and doing wrong things. So I like that about him. Dear Alan McGill, Oh my gosh, we made it. It seems like just yesterday we were in high school flirting and being dorks. <laughs> Dear Liana, I can't believe we are getting married today. It seemed we just started dating yesterday. I couldn't imagine my life without you and I hope our relationship only grows from here. I'm so thankful that God gave me you and put you in my life at just the right time. I love you so much and I'm so excited to marry you today. Try not to be nervous because then I won't be nervous. I know today is gonna to go by in a flash, but I'm going to love every single moment of it. I can't wait until you see me in my dress and to see your smile. I love you to the moon and back always. See you in a little bit. Lovely on. I can't explain how much I appreciate you. You have worked so hard to make this happen and you are priceless to me. Thank you for sticking with me through all my crazy life. Love you to the moon and farther. Maggie.
Hi everybody, thank you for coming today, it means a lot. Um, I just first of all want to thank God for, um, you know, for um, helping us and um, my parents, they raised me in church and that, you know, really helped because I wouldn't be here today without that, with them and God. Just like to give God a thanks for my salvation, you know, born and raised in church, you know, did things, did sins big and small, but God is gracious and forgave me of my sins. and. I mean, I wouldn't be anything without my parents and without this church family. Every, everyone in here has done a part to, for this wedding to happen, whether school or work or family, everybody's done a part. And I thank everyone of you guys, everyone, and I appreciate you guys for coming. And uh, I'm excited and nervous. <laughs> when I imagine this moment, I imagine it just me and Liana. Um, she's my sister, my little sister, and I love her so much. You can't pick a better example for a young couple, both 19 years old, preparing to get married and the way they did it, staying clean, and then coming to uni for the first time today and uh, saving and just preparing. It's just, it just shows how reliable and responsible they are. I, Leona. Promise you, Alan. Promise you, Alan. That I choose you. That I choose you. To be my husband. To be my husband. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And I promise you this. And I promise you this. I will be faithful to you. I will be faithful to you. Honest with you. Honest with you. I will respect you. I will respect you. Trust you. Trust you. Help and care for you. Help and care for you. My lips will speak rightly to you. My lips will speak rightly to you. I will share my life with you. I will share my life with you. I will you. forgive you. I will forgive you. Just as we have been forgiven by God. Just as we have been forgiven by God. And I promise. And I promise to make the best. To make the best of our lives. Of our lives. Through hardships. Through hardships. Through blessings. Blessings. Difficulties. Difficulties. Whatever life brings. Whatever life brings. To serve God with you. To serve God with and you. And bring joy to your life. And bring joy to your life. And I promise. And I promise to seek with you. To seek with you. God's will for our lives. God's will for our lives. As long as we both live. As long as we both live. God has a very special future for both of you. In in God's plan, He has a very special future. As you put both your minds and your hearts into God's will, God's going to open up the doors where He needs to open up the doors for you, and you will see how special it is. It's not going to be something that's even come to your mind yet. So just just put God first. Hi, right, Alan. Take you, take you, Liana. Liana, to be my wife. To be my wife. And these things I promise you today. And these things I promise you today. I will be faithful to you. I will be faithful to you all the days of my life. All the days of my life. I will make the very best. And I will make the very best of the good times. Of the good times. The hard times. The hard times. Times of need and want. Times of need and want. To see you through. To see you through. And see you blessed. And see you blessed. And I will seek the inspiration. And I will seek the inspiration. And the leading. And the leading. Of the Holy Spirit. Of the Holy Spirit. For my marriage with you. For my marriage with you. And I promise. And I promise. To do this. And to do this. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. That by the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, you seal this marriage in grace in fullness of life, in destiny and blessing all the days of their life. Let your power rest upon them, your grace be fulfilled over their lives in destiny and in fullness of life and blessing and longevity together. We seal this marriage before you by the authority of God and in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You can kiss your bride. I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Wally. <laughs>